step, we would want to learn about Maven and Git plugins. Actually, what we'll try and do is a very simple thing. We have a Git repository in 28 minutes, Spring MVC step by step. So this Git repository has a Maven project. So we have a combination here. So this Git repository has a Maven project. What I would want to be able to do is I would want to take this Git repository code and I would want to have it in my local. So I would want to be able to take this and run it as a Maven project in my local. So what we'll do is we'll do it in two steps. So we would do this in two steps. First one is importing the project from Git and pulling it down. What we would do is we would pull it down as a normal project to our hard disk. So the code from Git would now be on our hard disk. The next thing what we want to do is to take the project from my hard disk and import it as a Maven project. So those are the two steps we would be doing. So this is one, this is two. So let's get started and let's see how easy it is to do these two things. First, I would want to import it as a Git project. So what I would need to do is file import. I would type in Git. So I would say projects from Git. Next, I'll say clone URI. I mean, we want to clone a Maven project and the URL is this. So the URL to the Maven project is Spring MVC step by step. You can copy it from here step by step dot git. So I'll paste that in here. And now I can say next, I would want to import the master. That's the branch name next. And I would want to import it as a general project. So I'll say next. And we are importing it into a local repository, users Rangaravkarnam git and spring MVN step by step and say finish. Now I see the project which is imported spring MVC step by step. This is imported as a normal project. So what I'll do is I'll go to right click properties or you can do a control I and I would want to copy the folder path to this. So I'll copy this so that I am I have it useful when I need it. So I do a copy and what we'll do now is actually now this project is present in here as a normal project, but I would want to use it as a Maven project. So what I'll do is I'll do, go ahead and right click delete. Okay. And do a file import we have downloaded the git project to our hard disk now we would import the same thing from the hard disk as a maven project so what i would do is i would say existing maven project which because we have it on the local hard drive and now i can import that in you'd see that in a little while you would have the maven project set up and running in eclipse if you look at this particular maven project you'd see that actually there is no configuration about eclipse so there is no Eclipse card configuration which is present in here. It's just a simple normal Maven project. And even that project, we are able to easily bring it down. And we are now having a Maven project in here. And you can do a lot of Maven commands on it. For example, you want to do, let's say, run as Maven install. Let's say you want to do a MVN install. You can do all that kind of stuff from Eclipse itself. Because th this is because of the M2E plugin. So we have the Maven to Eclipse plugin. So that's the plugin which is enabling all these features. Now you can see that the build is successful and the project which we have created Maven project has the facility to be able to run on uh, Tomcat also just in a very easy way. So I just need to say Tomcat 7 colon run as simple as that. Now you'd see that the Tomcat server is coming up at a particular URL. Now you have an application which is coming up. There is a small web application which is running down there as well. We saw couple of things regarding Maven and Git. One is we pulled down a Git project as to, my, to our hard disk. That's what we did with the Git plugin. And the second thing is we use Maven plugin to import the project as a Maven project. And second thing is we use the Maven plugin to do MVN install. And also we were able to run the web application on Tomcat using the Maven plugin. So there are a lot of features that are present with Maven and I mean features which are present because of M2 Eclipse plugin, which gives us a lot of flexibility when we are using Maven with Eclipse. However, I mean, as far as Maven is concerned, I really like running commands from the command line. So those are some of the important things you would need to know about Maven and Git with respect to Eclipse. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses.
Number one is Udemy. You will find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You would find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.